There you are. So today we're back on the 240 and I actually just want to step away from the whole MOT failure craziness in this video because I'm actually waiting for the parts. So I'm going to wait for them to arrive and then we'll get started with that stuff. A long time viewer and subscriber, I've introduced him before on the channel, very briefly, over at a Volvo Meet and he's very kindly offered to lend me this, a timing light, a professional timing light. I've got no idea how to use it, but by the end of this video, I will know and you will know as well, so it will be useful. I also have a little bit of a misfire, well, a little bit of hesitation under light throttle. Oh, and sorry, the emissions test, it failed the emissions. So this one goes onto the minus connection on the ignition coil. If yours has it, and thank you again, Hawker, if that's how you say your name, for the ignition coil here. So that goes on there. We've got a free terminal for that, which is quite nice. And then lastly, this one has to go to the number one uh, cylinder ignition lead. That's zero, top dead center. So this mark here is 10 degrees before top dead center. And this one is 20. And in between there, we've got 15. These things should be 12 degrees before top dead center. That's the timing that we're looking to set today. From where it is or close to the 10, in that region, that's basically where we want the timing to be, the ignition timing to be. The timing light will flash. You've probably seen this before. This this gun it emits a flash, and it flashes down here at a certain point. Now, in a nutshell, it will flash when it gets a signal from this spark plug wire. So when the the spark is sent through this wire, it sends the signal to this, which will make this flash. So when it flashes, that shows you where you've got that spark, and obviously you want that spark to happen at the right point on there. Those markings should be in a certain position when the flash occurs. So you'll be able to see using the marks, okay, when it flashes, where do my marks line up? Where does the mark on the dampener, on the pulley, where is it in relation to the mark that's actually on the, the plastic cover there? And we're gonna see that now, we're gonna test it. So let's fire it up and see where it's at. One thing we should do because we're probably going to adjust it. I'm sure it's not going to be correct. We'll do it just anyway. We'll get in there and we'll just loosen the distributor. So that nut there, you can just get straight down on that, crack it off, and then just make sure, well, you don't really want to turn the distributor before time, but yeah, that, if you've got no issues there, it should turn. Don't be surprised if it doesn't turn. That's usually the hardest part of this job, but thankfully we had this one in recently, of course, with some grease, so it moves nicely. So. Hopefully we shouldn't have any issues there. So I'm gonna crack it off, make sure it moves, and then we'll actually get to doing some, uh, some checking and adjusting. So that's that cracked off. It shakes like a shitting dog. So you can see it flashes at a certain point when number one spark plug would fire or when that signal is sent through that lead. When that happens, that shows at what point, what position your engine is in. So that shows you how many degrees before top dead center you actually are. And in this case, obviously we're not many at all. We should be 10 to 12, maybe even 14 at the most, but we're actually way under. So we need to have a, a little tweak with the distributor and just see if we can get it a little bit closer. 
I'm actually going to go and grab Miss Involvo and get her to turn the distributor whilst I use the light and the phone to film it so I can actually show you guys because I need about five hands so she does one thing and then I'll be able to show you you'll see it move so I've done the mark in a way so there's kind of like two white lines either side of the indentation so it should highlight where the mark is so I've got my glamorous assistant here now who you probably haven't seen for a few videos she should have been part of the recent tooth disaster video but well I was a little bit too upset that day so yeah it wasn't good no 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 but most of you understood and agreed so yeah made me feel a little bit better, made it better. did make it better yeah. yeah so anyway so what we're going to do because i'm doing this just so i can make a better picture of the timing so you can see it so what i need you to do if you don't mind is turn this from the other side so you'll stand here and turn this ever so slightly just a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. It's not loose at the moment. I need to loosen it again. Yeah. It's nice and warm. Yeah. So what are you going to do whilst I'm twisting? I'm going to film okay. something at the front. So like this. Don't move it too much. Less, so just like this. Code. A secret code? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Welcome. She's very big as you can tell. Just stepping away from the car for a, a moment because I don't know if you can hear it, but they can hear it in the next town. She's got such loud piston slap. It's hard to even talk over it. I have to shout. So we think we're about 12. So you can actually set the tool to be at 12. Then it will flash when it's at zero on the car. I really enjoyed it and I was really surprised to see the difference that just the tiniest little turn could make to the to the timing completely. Smallest amount and you're changing by several degrees. So yeah, I'm really glad that I did this. I definitely wouldn't consider just eyeballing it in future and doing it by ear because you can get it in the region, but yeah, not nearly as, as good as it should be. So yeah, it's really nice just to hear those engine revs pick up slightly as well. Hopefully it's fixed our sort of slight hesitation under part throttle as well. Coming up, we've got the MOT or the tooth repairs on this car, the brakes, the light, the door especially, and yeah, all that fun and game. So I'm looking forward to that. No, I'm not actually. So, but yeah, once the parts arrive, we'll, we'll get on with that. So I'll see you then and thanks for watching. Yeah, that's made a big difference that has, five degrees. No real hesitation, way less stu like stutter and stumbling and messing around. No ping from what I can tell, I've tried to get it to ping but it won't, so pretty happy with that. That was a really, that's made a huge difference that has, that little tweak.